Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Hive. Thank you for joining me. And uh, yeah, this is going to be my Obi-Wan Kenobi spoiler review. <laughs> With opinions. Uh, overall, I gotta say, I liked about half of this, honestly. Um, maybe actually a little more than half. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about things that I personally thought were bad, I thought were weird, and I thought were good. Before I do that though, I just want to say as always, I appreciate everything all of you do for the channel. It means the world to me. I hope you're doing well and staying safe and I hope you're having a great day or night. If you do like my channel, if you like my content, if you thought this review was pretty okay, why don't you go ahead and hunt down that like button like you're an inquisitor. And subscribe. Join the hive. Okay, so, like I said, overall, I mean, I like the show. Um, there's... There's a lot of different reasons I've said before why I just, I mean, I, I really didn't even think they needed to make one, but it's okay because I, there are some sure some things that probably happened during those years that he was on Tatooine and everything that would be interesting to watch. Okay, so I want to just start right off with the bad, okay? Alright, one of the things I gotta tell you that uh, I was a little confused about was Leia. Now, I'm okay that they showed some stuff from Leia. I thought that they would, and I was hoping they would because, you know, it just makes sense. You know, you'd show what's going on with Leia. However, they seem to be really focusing a lot on Leia, and um, I'm not really sure why. For multiple reasons. One, if you're going to show one of the kids, you'd think it would be more Luke because that's who Obi-Wan was watching, which I want to come back to that in just a minute. Uh, but yeah, I, I just, I don't understand. It seems like you, instead of taking all that time that they're focusing on Leia, disobeying her parents and running around in the forest and this and that, uh, you know, they could have focused on a little more uh, family time with Luke and Owen and Aunt Beru, you know. And the reason I say that is because when Owen, Uncle Owen and, and Obi-Wan were having that conversation, when Owen was saying, like, you know, stay away from my fa the family and, blah, 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 you know, all that stuff, you would have had a lot more impact behind that statement if you could have shown some more, you know, of that family time with with. Peru, Owen, and Luke, you know, that bonding. Um, so, I, I don't know. I just, I wasn't really sure. So, speaking of, you know, like I said, Obi-Wan watching Luke. Dude, what is this thing with Bale going to Obi-Wan? Again, I'm not trying to be hateful about it, but it's like, look. <laughs> look, one, I don't know, man, if... They're bad parents as far as it comes to disciplining, disciplining Leia or what. But, dude, Leia is clearly just does what she wants. And, uh, I mean, I get, I get, you know, the little rebellion side of her. I, I understand. But, like, don't hate me for saying this, man. Because the little girl seemed nice and stuff. Um, but she went way past <sighs> oh my goodness i'm trying to go the right way to say this like look again a, a little bit of that rebellion i get it you know what i mean but for me she went way past that and just got really annoying just really really annoying i lost count of how many times she almost got her or obi-wan killed because she just wouldn't listen to anything nothing like, what? What? Also, when she was, like, running away from those bad guys in the beginning, or, you know, whatever it was, when they were trying to capture her, how could they not catch her? Same thing with Obi-Wan. I see an Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon Jinn move at, like, the speed of light, man. And you can't catch that little girl running like an Oompa Loompa? What? Oh, my God, dude. So frustrating. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I was totally fine with Leia to a certain point, and then it just got, like, out of control for me. So, going back to <laughs> the parenting of Leia. Dude, I, I was actually mad at Bail Organa for even contacting Obi-Wan. Like, look, the deal was, Obi-Wan got Luke. Bail, you got Leia. 
And now, because you can't discipline Leia, I understand you are loving parents, I get that, but kids need discipline too. But now, because of that, you're gonna go to Obi-Wan, have him leave Luke not being watched, and put him in danger because you want him to be a Jedi, use it, you know, uh, get Leia when he's not even trying to use the Force. Like, dude, are you telling me as rich as you are, you can't hire any bounty hunter to get her? Like, they don't have to know who she, like, really is. Oh my god, just, just, I'm like, what in the heck? And Obi-Wan flat out said no, and then what'd you do? You went to the, you went to him, and, and oh my gosh. You know, uh, this whole Bail Organa and Leia and all this stuff, man, like, I, I again, I, I wanted to see some stuff. It was cool to see Alderaan, you know what I mean? I, that was awesome, but it's like, what is going on? And there, that was that was the only way you can think of to get Obi Wan off the planet, was to go after Leia. I I I, I, I guess maybe I, I don't know. I'm not a writer. I mean, I'm sure if I sat down long enough, maybe I could think of something good. But I, I don't know. It just seems odd to me. But I, but I could be wrong. And if I am, hey, I will freely admit it. Maybe maybe that is literally the only way they would get Obi Wan off the planet. I've seen some people complain about, uh, was it Reva? Um, I don't really have any issues so far with Reva. Um, I mean, she's kind of impulsive, but, um, you know, because the whole point of the Inquisitors not being impulsive like that was more strategic. So obviously there must be a backstory to her origins and Vader. She seems to have some type of grudge against Obi-Wan. Don't know what that's all about. I guess we will find out, hopefully. It'll make a lot more sense. But but other than that, you know, I don't really have any issues with her. Uh, there was one thing that I'll get to about her killing the Inquisitor, the Grand Inquisitor. What I just said about killing the Grand Inquisitor. That will be the segue into the weird stuff in, in this show. So the first thing is, yeah, did she kill the Grand Inquisitor? Because that doesn't make any sense because this takes place, I think, roughly 10 years before Rebels. So the only thing I can think of is he's not dead. And if he's not dead, what does that mean? Does he, like, what is, uh, it's getting so confusing. So hopefully that will be explained. Just weird. Uh, the other thing that was kind of weird was uh, Reva telling Obi-Wan that Anakin is Darth Vader, you know, Anakin's still alive. Um, I mean, I I say weird, I don't wanna say it's bad. You know, maybe that's just how I found out. It just, it just seems weird that's how we found out, but you know, I guess, whatever. You know how, it feels weird in the same way how Solo got his name in the Solo movie. Who are your people? I don't have people. Um, Solo. Good luck, Han Solo. Okay, so the other weird thing was Okay, it was kind of a contrast. Now, this part that I'm about to say isn't weird. It's actually a good thing, but the opening with Order 66, that was a really awesome uh, kind of little insight to Order 66 that we just, in my personal opinion, we didn't get to see enough of. Uh, I, I just think that it would have been really great to see more spread out scenes of Order 66 and how it took place, how certain people got away, um, so that was one of the really awesome scenes. Now, the weird scene is a contrast to that when we see a 501st trooper as a bum begging for change. And now I like the realism of it because as a, I don't know enough like a lot of my friends do, but I know there was a lot of different stories about a lot of the clones and things that happened to them. And obviously if you were not a, if you don't have a job anymore, you know, yeah, you, maybe you'd be homeless. But I was almost like, is that them kind of poking fun at the prequels? Or is it just, or was it just like a, a sincere scene of like, yeah, you know, they're probably being Cor Coruscant and all these other places like these 50, not just 501st, but just clone troopers, just not, you know, just being homeless. 
not having a job. But yeah, those were the kind of the weird things uh, that I noticed just kind of with just one viewing of it. All right, so I wanna talk about the good because there was good stuff in it. I liked it a lot. Um, Obi-Wan, just great. Ewan McGregor, just great acting. You know what I mean? Um, no complaints as far as Obi-Wan goes. But I wanna say something. When he was talking to Owen about, you know, like, the boy must be trained, you know, blah, 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 blah. It's like, well, was that your plan all along? Because if your plan all along was to train Luke, you really shouldn't have given him to uh, Owen and Baru because now, again, creating a bond with that family, you know? Like, it would have been better just to keep Luke right off the bat and just start training him from, you know, from birth. So, I... I Hmm, I don't know, but it, it could have just changed, you know, his opinion changed back and forth. I'm not sure. But yeah, Obi-Wan, great. They're doing wonderful with world building. Uh, I really like how we get these different scenes, different planets, uh, how things work, the job stuff, how Obi-Wan's working a job with other people. Just all kinds of different world building techniques I think are just wonderful. Adding to that, the sets and the props and everything in between, much better in my opinion than Boba Fett was. But yeah, I just, I like even all the CGI looked really good. You know, I've only seen one viewing, so maybe I'll see something that I didn't see watching it again. But yeah, just everything, everything about all that looked beautiful, looked great. Uh, I do like the pace of the story, uh, even the stuff I didn't like, like with Leia, but at least everything moves along very well. I didn't feel like anything was just taking too much time or you know, this scene took too long, or, oh, I can't wait to get through this, or, you know, everything seemed to be, even, like, thinking that things would go too fast, I don't even recall that. Everything just seemed to move at a very good pace. Uh, watching this, there was definitely a lot of uh, Lego sets that I think are gonna happen, uh, whether it's, you know, characters, minifigs, you know, definitely see um, the new character. Um, I, you have to pardon me, I can't remember his name, I'll put it on the screen. He was in Eternals. Um, at first I didn't really like him that much because, you know, he was kind of being, you know, like, even though he did give people the safe passage, you know, he was just like kind of ripping people off, but his, uh, redemption at the end, I'm like, yeah, man, I like him. I like him a lot. And I'm hoping that we'll see more of him and whatever, whatever. But yeah, I could see a minifig of him, uh, definitely different people or aliens, uh, in, in, in the show, uh, some vehicles like that taxi vehicle that was transporting, um, them from the work to most Eisley. Uh, definitely that robot that, um, Leia had named Lola, which I thought was kind of a weird name for, for that robot. Uh, but yeah, I could see that being a set. Definitely. Uh, at least a toy. I can see the toy coming out. Without the, you know, the exception of just a few complaints I had in the beginning, I, I, th I think it's a good show. I'm really looking forward to see where it goes. I, I'm i still confused about like the Darth Vader stuff and all that, but we'll, we'll see what happens. I appreciate all of you watching. Uh, stay safe. Peace out. And may the force be with you.